Hey guys. Uh, hey. I only use the editing program that I have in case I accidentally say Toyo's real name. I was just said it. Um. Um. Well, he like if I'm farther into a video than a minute, <laughs> just so I don't have to restart um, the video and lose some footage. It's okay. So I don't really edit otherwise because it takes a while, and I don't want it. I just want to keep uploading constantly. I'm still paranoid that anything on my head is a tick. I scratched a white scab off. Because it's your scalp, it, it gets no sun because your hair, and that's your bald. That it's it's white, so all the scabs are white. Look at the he's a Pegasus. Uh, in case you guys can't see it, that makes it worse. Go over to red, yeah, right there. No, that makes it worse. Oh, now I get how to erase. Alright, so if I go into pencil, and then I just... No, not blue. No, red. Yeah. Right there. It's right there. The Pegasus. In the background. Anyway, uh... My goal is to try again to get the basilisk's horn the ancient horn uh because i really really want it i'll do some off camera work um which i really don't want to do but if i can't get it this episode i'm going to do some farming off cam because farming for a basilisk horn is really boring You guys don't want to see that, do you? Sandstorm. This is a, this is a good way to get shark fins. Nimble imp's death. This right here is a really good way to get shark fins. Sandstorms. If you you know why? Because sand sharks are technically still sharks. Look, a hollow sand shark. See, look, shark fin. And shark fins are what are needed for the mega shark. So I'm gonna, if I, whoa, nachos. If I can get five shark fins from this, or anywhere close to five. Oh, I found them. I found the big boss. Stonk, 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 stonk. Oh yeah, I got a light shard. That's nice. You dead? Boom. Their mini bosses are strong. Okay. Let's go over here. Oh! Well, at least we know they're out now. Okay. The farther, the longer we're sandstorming, the more mobs spawn. All right, let's get the sand sharks because I want to get shark fins, and they're really the basilisk one is immune to the sandstorms, um, to, um, mighty wind effect, mighty wind effect. So it's really oh another shark fin. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go. This, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna stay here in this um until for now. I'm just gonna try to get as many shark fins as I can. Good thing I got that tick while it was um, yesterday, while it was still cl crawling on my hair, trying to get to my scalp. And I know where it came from too. It came from my dog. We checked them, and they're fine. One of them we didn't check. That's because they were the one transmitting the ticks. But they could be. So we should probably crystal thrasher. So we should probably check them anyway. Um, how many shark fins do we have? Two out of five. That's good. At, at least I don't have to go to the ocean to get. Um, considering I can't breathe in the ocean. 
Basilisk Mount is immune to the Mighty Wind effect, which is making it so I can't move very fast at all this way, but I can move insanely fast this way. So I can't, um, if I have the Basilisk Mount on, I can run, um, like 42 miles per hour all the time. Dang it! No! I didn't get all the shark things, but it's fine. No, no. That's sad, but it's fine. Yeah, you whip on them. It's a good effect. Go get that, Pixie. Oh, whoops. I meant to use this. Cool whip. I have Excalibur. I have that. I have ice. I have fire. I have more. I have more ice. I have more fire. Just kidding. But I do have more fire. Anyway, as I was getting at, oh, that chest was not there before. I don't think. Well, obviously it was, because mimics can't be brown. But I've never got it. Is this the right cave? It is. But this is the good underground desert. Right down here, the huge one. So let's gonna go back there. Let's let's gonna mm, let's gonna go back there. I I I I I I I I I I keep touching the back of my head because uh, I'm still paranoid that there's a tick back there. Uh, because ticks are scary and they are painful and it makes your bones ache and it makes you die. I don't think it makes you die, but they can make you die if they get burrowed in far. If they get burrowed in far enough, you can just see the outline of a bug under your skin, and you can't get it out. Ever. And one of them was really far in there one time. I had one that almost got down. It was almost all the way down. Alright. He almost made it. You should be able to encounter sand sharks down there. Huge underground desert cavern. This is definitely going to be good for farming. Oh, dude. This is definitely going to be good for farming. Desert minecart. What do I have? B minecart. Don't care. Oh, wait. No, that's amazing. I got something good. Snake charmer flute. Um, oh, I got this dirty faucet. I was like, <gasps> I was like, I got something, but I, I didn't get anything good. I'm trying to get, if you don't remember from last time, I'm trying to get the, uh, or if you didn't watch the last video, I'm trying to get. <sighs> I'm trying to get. The Ancient Horn, which is an item you can get from Basilisks. It's a 2% drop rate. Very rare. Very amazing. It's one of the better weapons. Better weapons? It's one of the better mounts, in my opinion. You, if I get it, you'll see. I'm going to do some off... Oh, I keep thinking that's it. I'm going to do some off-camera, even though I really don't want to. I'm going to do some off-camera farming. If I don't get it in this in this video, because I don't think you guys want to see me um, running around trying to just waiting for a lizard to spawn. Oh, there's one down there. There's two. One up here. One down there. Let's drill down. This will expose us to more in the ground desert.
Thunder's out. It's not a bad weapon. Especially for pre hard mode. Considering you're supposed to get that in pre hard mode. I got it in hard mode, so it's trash. But if you got that in pre hard mode, you would be set. Especially if you had something like the jungle armor, which is meant which gives you a ton of extra mana. the one wasn't it that was the one he's gonna despawn now all right let's go back there we gotta go jetpack is one of the best wings well this is obviously it's not but it's definitely a really good wing for early hard mode you can get it for the steampunker for a good amount of money but it's really really good and really worth it this is what the snake charmer's flute um does by the way there we go now it is a rope that i can climb up and when i get to the top i can just fly Really, 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 really good. Really good, really good. Amazing. Pretty good item. Really good for getting to floating islands, too. If you get that, and you have, like, even something like rocket boots or just a long hook, you can get plenty of floating islands. Let's go this way. Boom. Bang. Shibidi dang. Let's go. Through the entirety of this desert, see if we find any basilisk on the way. Hey buddy, how much health do you have? 135. Good amount of health. He's a pretty strong enemy. Underground Desert is very dangerous, but it's very good. If you can manage to get one of the good items from the Underground Desert, you are set for a good amount of time. Me just ignores everything. Oh, whoops. I have the confusion effect. Blood Moon is right. Oh no. Really? You had to do that. Oh, I set up a trap. Uh, ding, ding, ding. I didn't know that trap was there. I can't spend my entire blood moon doing that. Am I manageable? I'm gonna look for one more basilisk, and then I'm gonna head up to the surface. Huge underground desert. Amazing. Bigger the desert. More basilisks. Which are important to my life cycle. I must have basilisk. I must have ancient horn. Alright. Let's head back. Oh, look. Blood Moon. She turned into a fox. Look. Girl, stay away now. It's a Blood Moon, so therefore she turned into me. Turned into a um, werewolf. She's like a broke. That's a term. That's a fancy term for a guy that turns into a wolf at nighttime. Uh, ponies. Well, I guess technically the meteorite theme is also reused in the Blood Moon, but I mean, it used to also be Hell's theme. You can get very rare chance to get the to get the uh, blessed apple from unicorn. So I'll kill any that get in my way because I want the blessed apple. It's just the basilisk, but not meant for caving. Not meant for cave mining. Hey, dude, how's it doing? I locked you away in space so no one could ever look at you because you're not the right clothier. 
we need a different we need a different cloth here. Clother. I always called him the clother, but now I'm second guessing myself. Oh. Where's my minion? take the souls. Souls of flight are used for crafting wings, so I'll always, I'll always take any souls of flight you get and throw at me. Witch doctor. Found him. Ocean. This is where I need to be. Good thing I brought my bait. I'm trying to fish up a boss. Lemon fishing is dangerous. But hey, I got what I wanted. Red Nautilus. Mini boss. Oh, almost. He's like a Blood Moon Duke fish run, but easier. But I, I think he should be a full on boss, though. I think he deserves better than a mini boss. He's so cool looking. Like, look at his minions. What are those? What are those things? No one will know, ever. Wait, is he immune to arrows? That's hard, that's irritating. Do I have to melee this boy? I mean, it's not like that's a problem. I have the Excalibur, after all. Drought does lots of damage, holy crap. He's, all right, he's dead. Got him. I think he should have been a boss. But that's okay. He didn't drop anything. Well, actually, he does. He can, he has a chance of dropping amazing items. I'm gonna try to catch him up again. Wait a second. While I'm at the ocean, I might as well go look for some sharks, right? They have, ocean sharks have a 100% drop rate for uh, shark fins, I think. Which is good. Alright. I make it, yeah. Alright. And now I'm gonna go fishing again. Back to your regulars really schedule. Oh, wait, I can swim. <laughs> I forgot I have flippers. Oh, there's a shark. I'll get that. I just need to fish this up. What do I get? Oh, crate. Mithril crate. I'll take it. Give me the crate. 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 Okay. Now let's go after that shark. Get that shark. Yeah. Now that I got a mythical crate, all that I. Uh, now that I fought Red Nautilus once, that was just. I kind of wanted to fight him. I'm just going to try to get some sharks. I have three out of five needed shark fins for the mega shark. Shark fins, in my opinion, are the hardest part about it. But they're not hard to get. Alright, I'm gonna go fishing a little more. See what I catch. Blood moon fishing is the best. Oh, I did get something. I'm sorry if any of you were screaming at me. Because you didn't. Um, because I didn't notice that I actually got the Sogleen staff. Summons the so Sagween Bat, and it's really amazing. Sagween Bat. Does 40 summon damage. It's really strong. And I can combine it with this thing, with my whip, to absolutely wreck things. I'm gonna go fishing. I didn't even realize he dropped that. 
That was the second time I've gotten that drop too. Out of three times that I've fought Dread Nautilus, I've gotten that that staff twice. Let's see if I can reel up Dread Nautilus again, uh, because he drops some pretty good items. Come on, Dread Nautilus. Come on. Crap. The bat messed me up. Totally great. Not what I want. My line just broke. This real great. I want for a Nautilus, not great. Something, uh, just switch that. Ugh. Nothing's biting my hook. She looks like real fishing. Boring. Fine, yeah. Trout. Ugh. Care about fish? I want a big squeedy boy. I want to catch my friend. Oh, crate. I mean, I'll take crates. I'll, I will take crates, but I want Bernardo. So I seriously? Are you serious? Are you freaking kidding me? I just did a blood moon and now I have to deal with a solar eclipse. What is this dark magic? I mean, anything to get broken. I mean, I'll take a broken hero sword if I can find one. But still, this is how you get the Terra Blade. You have to fight this, and you can get the Terra Blade. Not, you know, it's not a drop. You get it if you have never played Terraria before, or you live under a rock and have never heard of it. Which makes sense, considering it's not very popular, even though it is a very fleshed out game. In my opinion, even to the dismay of many others, better than Minecraft. Well, not better. I mean, it has better. It has more stuff. It's more unique than Minecraft. Less popular. Spank. Stonks. Broken hero swords can only be gained by one enemy. And that is the Mothron. At least on computer. But it's a um, one out of four chance to get it. Um, compared to a 1 out of 400 chance like it is on the other devices from any mob. So if I'm lucky and I get four broken hero swords over the span of a couple of shoulder eclipses, you want to know what can happen? I can make the Terra Blade and the Terra Toilet. <laughs> I don't know what it is with this game and toilets, but I love it. I'll place the Terra Toilet and I will cherish it. I don't know what it, uh, why. Stonk. This whip is good. Stonks! Potion. Yeah, uh, Mothron, please come faster and give me a broken hero sword. Actually, at this point, I'll take any item that you get from the solar eclipse because all of the items in the solar eclipse are much stronger than what I have currently. Oh no, it's a Zappinator guy. It's the laser zombie. Those guys always kill me if I'm not ready for a solar eclipse. Can this one be two events part two? Remember that video from the old series where I got um, a goblin army, or got like a blood moon and a pirate army?
Except this time instead of a pirate army. It's a solar eclipse. Okay. Use Excalibur. Moth run! Faster! Actually, Neptune's shell would be nice. There's so many things I want from this event. You have no idea. They have so much health. Everything in this event is just so strong. This bat is amazing. I'm glad I got this from Dreadnoughtalus. I don't know what else he can drop, so. Good thing I got this, considering it was the only upgrade. For, it's like, I haven't upgraded my, from my imp staff for quite a while. Actually, let's get two bats in here. Run, get down, run. Run. Okay, now there's two. I need a moth run soon. I think around halfway a moth run um moth runs start to start to spawn. Around halfway through the day. Um wait, how did he get up there? I don't know, but however he got up there, he's now dead. There's so many items you can get from the solar eclipse that are really good. You can get the death sickle, you can get the bat wings, you can get um I have Cthulhu, you can get Broken Hero Swords, you can get the Neptune Shell, you can get the Butcher's Chainsaw, you can get the Toxic Flask. Oh, I got a Batwing. I wonder how high Batwings can fly. I wonder if they fly higher than the jetpack. If they do, then I'll make them, but if they don't, then I won't. Give me Batwing. Broken Batwing. I can fix it up with some Souls of Light, or, or Souls of Flight. Moon necklace, what is this? Moonstone, what's that do? It doesn't turn you into a werewolf, I know that for sure. You get that for the werewolf that'd be the pure for a night. Oh, I can't turn around. I have to do it manually. I think my bats life steal. I think they like come up close to me and then they um give me life. I think they leave life from enemies. Give it to me. Don't get cornered. That's a horrible idea. Not getting cornered is a great idea. Mothron, please spawn. Mothron, we need the Mothron. They can also drop their the Mothron's wings, which I if I get them, I'll put them in vanity. Especially if um, if they're better than my jetpack, then I'll just take them and use them instead of my jetpack because Mothron's wings are the, are the my favorite wing design in the game. Maybe one up by the nebula wings. But I don't really think so. I think the Mothron wings are the best. My favorite, my favorite design. I used to love, I loved the butterfly wings, then I loved the, um, nebula wings, then I loved the Mothron wings. 
At least, at least these guys don't break down your doors like the goblins do. Such for me. Let's refresh my bat, my double bat spell. If there's a big group, you can just do this, and then that ice, that little ice thing will kill them all. Let's kill the laser dude, because they hurt. Almost done. Not a single moth run. I think they start spawning after you kill Golem. I'm not sure, I don't know. Much money, oh my god. You get so much money from these events. Mostly this one and the pirate army, because this one has, um, the mobs are all like mini bosses, so they all drop a ton of money. And the pirate army, because they're pirates, so they steal a lot of money from people. any items besides the bat wing. I mean after it's over I'm gonna do a quick field scan um field but I'm gonna quick run over around see what I can find because it's a lot darker or it's a lot um, easier to see items. I haven't seen a single ghost yet. Phantom so I'm not sure I think I'm just, I think I have to I didn't know solar eclipses could happen naturally. Well, actually, yeah, because that's, that used to be the only way to get the solar eclipse. That you uh, used to have to wait for it to happen. I'm glad that they um, fixed that because half the time you wouldn't even get a Terra Blade before end game, before end game because you would just kill Moon Lord before a solar eclipse happened. I think after you kill one of the mechanical bosses, solar eclipses, just like the Goblin Army at, um, slash meteorite after you kill. The I have Cthulhu slash Eater World slash um, Brandon Cthulhu. Um, it's just like waiting for the next, for the moment that it wants to happen. And every time an event during night happens, an event that happens during the day always ends up happening directly after, almost. I see, yes, I do see that moonstone. I don't want it. This is how you make money, this event. Broken bat wing again. All right, I can make one for. I can make a pair for Toyo. I can make bat wings for Toyo. It's, ah, God, it's looking at my eyebrow. What the? Uh, I can make if they're better than jetpack. I can make a pair for both of us. Now, that's confusing. You only need one bat wing to make bat a pair of bat wings. on computer that I've ever had a solar eclipse naturally happen. <laughs> I have two broken bat wings. There's probably a good amount of loot on the floor, but I don't know. Probably, there probably is a good amount of loot that's just kind of sitting there on the floor. Um, 
that during the day I'll be able to find, and I'll be like, oh, okay. There's probably a, like a million banners all over the place. I should probably hang up all the banners, because if I do that, then next time a solar eclipse happens, I'll have a buff against all the mobs that I kill. I have all the mobs, almost. The solar eclipse is the ultimate crossover. There are a lot of enemies missing, um, I, I've noticed. Lots of missing enemies. Which I think means, in turn, that they'll start spawning after I kill gold. Cause I'm missing, I do not, I'm miss, I don't see, um, I, I, mean, I don't see as many. Is that what, that's the possessed, I'm guessing. Yeah. Spider ladies. Uh two moon trials. Moon trials and vampire or in bat wings. Oh! <gasps> we get a guy, dude! We don't even have to make it anymore. I was gonna make that next episode, but I guess we already got one. Now I'm not gonna fight it yet. I wanna um kill the destroyer one or two more times. Just so we can get some armor, you know, get some armor for Toyo. Make sure we're all Gucci, and then we can take out the kids. Neptune Shell, yeah! Perfect. Okay, daytime, kill them. I'm not, I'm really not even sad that I didn't get a, what I thought, what I wanted, that I didn't get a Broken Hero Sword, because I didn't really care. Reach for the deep. Grab banner. Neptune shell, though. You'll see why this is good. I'm going to replace my flippers. Actually, I'm going to save these flippers for Tovio. I almost just said his name. Boom. I'm gonna grab some items. Take some moonstone. Three moonstones, though. Moonstone, moonstone. Moonstone. Put that there. I'm gonna put these broken bat wings there for now. Let me quick deposit some items. Greater mana potion though. Take it. Wait, with a real crate. I'm gonna get ginger beard. Um, take off. Uh, <laughs> no one will ever see that. I'm gonna keep that on. Or Chelcom Bar, Journeyman Bait. I'll keep that with me that away I'm just gonna put like everything away I want to make sure I almost always have an empty empty inventory now, where's the pearl wood crate cobalt gills potion don't need any of this I guess I'll take the cobalt I mean, can I smelt this? Make something with it? Yeah, I can't make anything with seven cobalt bars, so. I have lots of souls of light. All of these are from wyverns. So many wyverns. 
bat wings. Before I make the bat wings, I'm gonna see how good they are. Oh jeez, 40 minutes! Okay, guys, I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you enjoyed. And if you wanna hit the like button or subscribe button, you can. I'm still paranoid. Um, but you don't have to, so if you don't want to, you don't have to. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.